All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the All-American Breakfast. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's our first uh, question here that I would like to see if we remember how to do. It is dealing with your basic probability tree where, uh, in this case, we're dealing with the cat, dog, and rat. And it's either going to be a big or small cat or big or small rat, so on and so forth. So if I was to ask you a very simple little uh, probability question, what is the probability of a big cat? Okay, so what is the probability of a big cat? Well, if you remember anything about um, tree diagrams, which I hope you do, you know that the last expansion, the last a bit of branches, they represent the total amount of outcomes you're going to have in this problem. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means I'm going to have a total of six options, total out options. Now I just got to figure out what's the probability of a big cat. Big cat, that's 1 over 6. That's pretty simple. One more. What is the probability of a just, let's just say a, I don't know, a small animal. So notice that I'm not specifying between dog, cat, rat. I'm just saying hey, it's got to be a small animal. So once again, I know I have six total uh, outcomes, so that's going to be a 6. How many smalls are there? Well, there's one small, there's two small, there's three. So it's going to be three over six, which, of course, you guys know is one half. Now, this makes life easier because everything is evenly distributed, okay? Um, I don't have to deal with any type of parentheses. I know that the, and I said parentheses, I misspoke, sorry about that, but uh, I don't have to deal with any type of percentages. That's what I was going to say. Like, for example, this cat, dog, and rat, you have three options. So what is the probability that you're going to choose a cat? Well, you know, obviously it's going to be one-third, one-third, one-third. Okay, that's pretty simple because everything is evenly divided up amongst your options. But let's say if we change it up, and now all of a sudden we have this information here. And so notice that the cat, the dog, the rat, normally in an ideal situation, it'd be a one-third a one -third option or one-third probability that you'd be choosing one of these three animals. But now, notice that I've already put some weights in here, meaning, or already percentages in my, in my tree diagram. So now the probability changes, all right? So let's go back to that original first question, the probability of a big cat. I'm just going to abbreviate and say big C. Okay. Now what you're going to be doing is using the tree and almost use it like a map. You're starting here. You want a big cat. So we're going to go to the cat option, and then we're going to go to the big option. So big cat. Notice the uh, percentages that we used, 70% as well as 10%. And so if I had to go through two percentages, that means I'm going to multiply them, all right? So 70 times 10, off the top of my head, I believe that is a 7%. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking it's 7%. Well, let's try another one. What is the probability that it's going to be a small rat? Small r, all right? Now... Uh, dealing with these percentages again, let me use green here, we're going to the rat, and then we're going to small. And so that is 10% that we messed with dealing with the rat, apparently not a lot of people like rats, and then 50% for small. So when we multiply the two, I am saying we're getting 5%. And like I said, I'm not using a calculator. I'm just going off the top of my head. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. And that's how easy it is. All right? Now, that's, uh, that's how you figure out the probability of any particular uh, you know, outcome that you're wanting to see in a tree. Now let's talk about some of the properties of this tree. All right? A couple things I want you to pay attention to, and that is this. Notice that for each expansion... My first expansion, which is dog, cat, rat. Notice the percentages that we're dealing with here. 10, 20, 70. They all equal 100%. All right? Those are all 
And that works every time you branch out, so to speak. So with the cat, when I branch out to the small and big uh, cat options, those also would equal 100%. Okay, and this is going to be true for every single expansion. This is 100%, and this right here is 100%. Okay, and that's how easy it is. Now, let's say if we were dealing with a situation where, I don't know, uh, let's say this 90-10, let's say if I decided to change it, change the 90 to 80%. Okay. If I change that to 80%, and if I was to add the two options, I would now get 90%. That doesn't work. Okay. You can't do that because when you're dealing with probability, you're always dealing with 100%. All right. You're always comparing it to everybody, and so only using 90% of a situation, it just doesn't work. You're not going to get accurate numbers. So if that's ever the case, you would say, nope, can't do it, not going to do it because I won't get an accurate answer. So pretty simple. Now, going back with our 100% theme here. All right, so let me uh, let me just clean this whole table up again. So dealing with the whole 100%, you know everything's got to be 100% for each category. Now, if I was going to multiply throughout the graph here, so if I was going to start here, multiply 70% times 90%, if I was going to do that, I would get a grand total of 63%. So the percentages, or the percentage of having a, a cat that is small is going to be 63%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, basically I'm going to multiply all these options. All right. So now, cat, big cat. So that gives me 7%. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and multiply all this stuff out. So um, I'm going to go dog, small dog, and I'm going to say dog, big dog. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to go ahead and just multiply all of these percentages out. All right, so I fast forwarded and I multiplied everything out. Now, once again, an observation dealing with our 100% theme here. If I was going to add all these numbers up, dealing with probability, you know what they're probably going to add up to get to, and you would be correct if you're saying this to the screen 100%. You're always working off of 100%. All right, let's do a couple more, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so here we have Ford's Family Steak Buffet. All right, we have a couple questions to the right here. Uh, what do you notice about the branching out of each vertex? Once again, we've already covered this. Everything equals 100%. All right, pretty simple. All right, now, what is the probability that a customer will order an adult buffet and then order water? So going, they'll order a buffet, and it's going to be an adult, and they're going to drink water. Okay, notice uh, how I worked through the graph here, or tree diagram. And I went through those percentages, and so hopefully by now you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all those uh, numbers, and I'm going to multiply them. So what is the probability of this all happening? Well, that's 9%. What is the probability that a, a customer will order a kid's individual platter with a Coke? Well, kid's individual platter, which is all this down here, with a Coke. Notice 0 0.25, 0 0.85, 0 0.3. So 0 0.25 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.3. I get roughly, I'm going to 6.4%. Now, the last question I want to bring to your attention is this one here. If 1,000 customers walk through the door, how many would choose this option? Well, you've already determined that it's going to be 6.4%. So all your hard work is done. So now what you have to do is apply it to the 1,000, which, which means multiplying it. So I'm going to say 1,000 times, I'll go ahead and write this down, and real. That's 1,000, even though it may not look like it, times 6.4%. So how many people of the 1,000 would actually choose this option? And if you did it correctly, you'd get 64 people. All right? So very simply, that's how you figure out uh, per, uh, probability percentages when dealing with a, a tree diagram that has numbers that are different than like one-third, one-half, whatever. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.